today's video. Nova 3, baby! Hello guys and welcome, my name is Shave Dave. Thank you for joining me, and as you probably guessed, I'm now Nova 3. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you some of my gameplay because, well, it's always nice to get some feedback on where I can improve because it helps me and it helps others too that are watching. So feel free to leave it below. And over the next few weeks, I'll share some of my practice regime and my current warm-up strategies and anything else I've found helpful up to this point. But again, feel free to leave it below if you've got any suggestions. As I say, feedback is appreciated. But do keep in mind, not everyone is a global elite, and some users struggle just to get out of silver. So while this video is for me to get feedback, it's also for those people too, to get info on how they can perhaps improve their game. I don't profess to be the best player in the world, hell I'm only Nova 3, but I am improving. And I am, fortunately at the moment at least, ranking up quite quickly, and fairly regularly. So it's nice to share how I'm doing it. Until now, I have been exclusively playing solo queue. That is to say, I've been playing entirely on my own with little to no help from anyone. A few videos here and there, but not much more than that. But now, my good friend Lizard got himself a second account. And at the moment at least, he has no rank on that account. Which means despite having over a thousand hours in the game, on his new account, he has very little meaning. He is what people call a smurf. That being a higher rank player who is playing at lower ranks. A lot of players do this, and for many reasons. One reason, as is the case for Lizard, is that he just wants to play with his mates, but his mates are lower rank, or in my case, new to the game. Another reason is, well, unfortunately, the abundance of cheaters in the higher ranks that make it far less fun to play. So you find a lot of people smurfing just to get away from cheaters so they can have an actual game. Now, I'm sure there are other reasons too, but I guess you'd have to ask them. I have seen people say things like, you only play smurf because you suck at your actual rank. Well, you know, if that was actually true, they wouldn't be at that rank for very long anyway. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. But hey, if it makes you feel better, so be it. I've also seen first-hand people take exception to a smurf playing on the opposite team as well. And I've also been on the receiving end of it. So here's my opinion of it. While it does perhaps mess with the ELO scoring system and therefore perhaps mess with your rank a little and most definitely makes your life harder, it's also, at least in my opinion, a lot better for your game. If you learn from better players, surely that's better than playing people of the same rank. So having a smurf on the opposite team might seem like a bad thing. If you only ever faced people that were your equals, it'll take a lot longer to improve, so actually, they might just be doing you a favour. I like the challenge, if a player is better than me, I want to get better so I'm better than him, and if the player is the same skill level as me, and I'm sort of in my comfort zone, and that's not as good, I'm not likely to try and figure out how I can beat him because chances are I can already beat him sometimes. Of course, playing with a smurf will likely help you rank up quicker, but if you lack the skills for that level, then you won't be staying there, so you're not really doing yourself any favours. So I guess the advice here is don't get so hung up on the ranks you're playing against, or even your own. It really doesn't matter, just focus on playing. And if you're going to rank up, well, it'll happen whether you look at it or not. One thing I know I most definitely need to work on is my anger or rage. I really need to calm down, and it'll improve my game massively if I do so. And I guess with that, I will end the video here. Feel free to watch to the end of the video, but until the next time, thank you very much for allowing me to take up your valuable time, and I will see you soon.
Thank you for watching and if you haven't done already, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe.